We would like to thank everyone for attending this South Lake Trail Phase 4 Public Information Meeting hosted by the Florida Department of Transportation. We will provide you information on the overall coast-to-coast -coast trail system and then focus on this South Lake Trail Phase 4 project and schedule. This meeting and project are being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to Florida Department of Transportation compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting the department personnel shown here. All inquiries or concerns will be handled according to Florida Department of Transportation procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. This South Lake Trail project from Van Fleet Trail to Villa City Road is part of the larger Coast to Coast Connector Trail system that spans 275 miles from the West Coast in Tampa to the East Coast in Titusville. Our eight-mile trail section in Sumter and Lake Counties is one of the few missing links, generally located in the middle or heart of the coast-to-coast -coast connector system. The South Lake Trail project history dates back over a decade ago when the Department of Transportation conducted a preliminary engineering study for a trail alignment on the former CSX Rail Corridor. This effort culminated in a preliminary engineering report dated February 2005 with several PD&E commitments, such as a 14-foot wide multi-use trail narrowing in constrained areas, pedestrian bridge over State Road 50, tunnel at County Road 33, and trailhead facilities at Lee Road and Downtown Mascot. Over the past decade, several changes have occurred resulting in property ownership land transitions, land development, Shearwater Estates, along the trail alignment, utility construction, agency rule changes, and a PD&E environmental re-evaluation with the passage of time. Senate Bill 2514 was passed in July 2014 with funding available specifically for trails. This South Lake Phase 4 project is in the preliminary design phase with recent completion of 60% plans. The project limits begin at the Van Fleet Trail in Sumter County and extend east to Villa City Road in Lake County. The project length is approximately 8 miles. The project limits begin at the Van Fleet Trail, which is within the Withlacoochee State Forest and Sumter County. Key trail design elements for this Rails to Trails project include design geometry to minimize right-of-way and fill requirements, typical sections with a standard trail width of 14 feet, except in areas of environmental impact or right-of-way constraints, signing and pavement markings for trail safety, including motorist warning signs and embedded mile markers, Accommodations for first responders include access to the trail at side streets and pavement designs for emergency vehicles. The project includes four typical sections. The first two, shown on this slide, depict the proposed typical sections for the trail on and off the existing rail bed. The third typical section, shown on the top of this slide, is for the portion of the trail located adjacent to State Road 50. 
The fourth typical section shown on the bottom of this slide is a boardwalk section used to minimize wetland impacts. Two cattle crossings are proposed as part of the trail project. The first proposed cattle crossing is located west of Sloan's Ridge Road. Shown here is the conceptual drawing and rendering of the proposed structure. The second cattle crossing is located east of Sloan's Ridge Road. Shown here is the conceptual drawing and rendering of the proposed structure. A limited use or parking only trailhead facility is proposed on the west side of Lee Road at State Road 50. In addition, a full amenity trailhead with restrooms will be provided at Mascot Civic Center. Landscaping and or fencing will buffer residential properties of Shearwater Estates from the future South Lake Trail. In downtown Mascot, a pedestrian bridge crossing State Road 50 is proposed. Illustrated here is a conceptual rendering showing the proposed State Road 50 pedestrian structure. At County Road 33, an underpass or tunnel is proposed at Underpass Road. The conceptual tunnel type is shown on the photos on this slide. These photos are of existing trail underpasses in Lake County at Hancock Road. A bridge is proposed to minimize impacts to wetlands. Alternative boardwalk materials evaluated and considered include timber, reinforced plastic, and concrete. Concrete is the recommended solution for a variety of reasons, including long-term maintenance considerations, aesthetics, fire and rot resistance, and a smooth surface for trail occupants. Wetlands are prevalent throughout the trail corridor, and impacts will be minimized or eliminated as practical. Mitigation for wetland and wood stork habitat will be provided in the southern Oklawaha River Basin and the Withlacoochee Watershed. Threatened and endangered species considerations include gopher tortoise burrow relocations, eastern indigo snake construction protection measures, sand skink surveys, and wood stork habitat mitigation. Required permits will be obtained from environmental regulatory agencies such as St. John's River Water Management District, South Florida Water Management District, and the United States Army Corps of Engineers. Landscape considerations include adherence to City of Mascot and Lake County codes specifically use of native plants and wildflowers to minimize maintenance and placement of plants to maximize site security. Landscape features are anticipated at the State Road 50 pedestrian bridge, the trailhead at State Road 50 and Lee Road, the downtown mascot Civic Center trailhead, County Road 33 tunnel, and additional linear landscape buffers will be provided along the trail adjacent to residential properties. Tree preservation will be provided where possible. The project ends at Villa City Road and ties in with the future State Road 50 widening project. The proposed South Lake Trail project will allow connection to the existing State Road 50 sidewalk and future multi-use trail to be included with the State Road 50 widening project. The schedule for the South Lake Trail project includes design, right-of-way, and construction phases. 
the design of the trail will be completed in spring 2018. Right-of-way phase will be completed in 2020, and construction will begin in 2022. The estimated construction cost for the project is $14.5 million. Comment cards are available here tonight. Please complete a comment card and return it tonight, or send it by mail or email to the attention of Ada Vargas or Hatim Aguib by July 17, 2017. Please be advised that all correspondence received related to this project will be placed in the Florida Department of Transportation South Lake Trail Project file and is subject to release to the public if requested. Contact information is provided on the slide for the Florida Department of Transportation and Consultant Project Managers for the South Lake Trail Project. We'd like to thank everyone for attending this South Lake Trail update. We hope you have found this information helpful. All documents from this public meeting will be available on www.cflroads.com. Project team members are here to address your questions. You may also submit questions or comments on the comment forms you received when you signed in.